Hello, hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Jim. We're listening to some music. We're listening to a band I've never even heard of before. And this has been uh, requested by Matthew Evert. And he has asked for me to listen to a song called Languid by a band, Little Tybee. Now, I have never, ever heard of this band. So I've just um, done a little bit of, uh, of uh, Wikipedia research on here. Um, Little Ty B is an experimental progressive folk rock band based out of Atlanta. Uh, since uh, 2009, when they started, the band has released four albums and conducted numerous tours. Stylistically, they fuse together elements from folk, psychedelic rock, indie music, jazz, soul, and other diverse influences. Um, members of the band are Brock Scott, Ryan Donald, Dallas Dawson, Josh Martin, Nirvana Kelly, and Chris Case. Um, this song, Languid, what album is this from? I don't know, actually. Um, so it is taken from their album called Little Ty B. So, Matthew, if you actually had a specific version of this request in mind, um, I've... I've lost it. I, I I don't know. I can't find the email initially that uh, had your request on it. Um, any note, any information at all. Uh, I have managed to note down on my spreadsheet that it is this song, uh, "Languid" by Little Tybee. Um, but beyond that, I have nothing. So I hope this is the right one. This is taken from the album "Little Tybee," and it goes something like this: three, two, one. right with the description of the um, mixture of genres folk indie progressive
enough to win the race. When you get a bit Everything's playing off each other. It's always not mirroring, but the violin and uh, I think guitar playing underneath us and the keyboard is all kind of doing the same thing, but following each other. My little Tybee. Um, really, I don't know where to categorise. I mean, why do we always have to do this categorising and placing music into genres and pigeonholing and stuff? Um, it is very much on the folky indie side of things, which is a genre I don't listen to as much as I used to. I used to listen to it quite a lot. I've got a lot of CDs. Um, you know, so like things like Midlake and um, oh, I don't know, uh, Stornaway and uh, just others, uh, just really Fleet Foxes a little bit. It's that sort of stuff, which um, used to sort of figure quite highly in my in my listening, but it's sort of in the last few years, I guess because of the way the channel has gone and the introduction of new music, I don't listen to it that much anymore. What is interesting about this sort of music and of those other bands I just talked about as well is that it is really readily available and mass not mass market that's the wrong word but uh, but a lot of people have the potential to listen to this because it is really accessible and it's really Certainly in the UK, sort of radio friendly. If you think about some of our stations here, it'd be sort of right up the up the um, up the street for Six Music, for example. Um, and it also sort of, there sort of like begs the question: if you are presented with bite-sized, digestible, accessible pieces of music like this, why on earth would you want to listen to the? <laughs> um, without saying the word garbage or trash um, what else can I say the mainstream pop output that is prevalent because this is I get it that a lot of people are not that keen or interested in listening to stuff like prog and to uh, uh, long form album music which is fine because uh, everyone's different but there is really interesting music being done original music music by people you know this is a band this is people working together to produce uh, living organic um, vital music and it's just it, it, it just is extraordinary that people would far rather ch and people would really genuinely uh, wanting to listen to AI created music why what on earth is the appeal of that? You know, I mean, ah, oh, it's extraordinary, isn't it? 
anyway, I like this very, very much indeed. I need to, uh, not necessarily for the channel, just for my own sake, uh, start mixing up some of the stuff that I listen to and actually go cycle back to uh, some of the music I used to listen to six, seven years ago, because I, I kind of forget it's there. <laughs> I've got it all. I just sort of have sort of started listening to a lot of heavier and a lot of, sort of much proggier music lately. And um, hey, no, that's not a bad thing. But I must not forget my other stuff because I actually I really enjoy it. Um, so, Matthew, thank you so much for this. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it was okay, the version that we've gone for. And I hope anybody else that's watched this has enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you on the next video whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim, over and...